Today we're exploring the deep ocean and its rarely seen creatures. My grandfather, Jacques Cousteau, was always looking to chronicle the wonders of the ocean, and the giant isopod is one of the most fascinating and strange looking. These crustaceans live thousands of feet beneath the ocean surface, typically between 500 and 7,000 feet deep. They can grow up to two feet long, but this one's just a baby. The reason they're so big is due to something, sorry, is due to something called sea gigantism. We don't know why this happens. It might be due to deep ocean pressure or to scarcity of food resources. Either way, these guys are huge. They're carnivores, and they have four sets of jaws, but can go for years without eating. Are you guys eating? You barely lasted an hour. One isopod in captivity in Japan survived five years without eating. Okay, give me a chance. Hold on, I need a minute. The ocean is particularly captivating today. Hmm. All right, what's on the docket? Nudibranchs. Ah, yes, of course, nudibranchs. I love these. Nudibranchs are small, about the size of my fingertip. These are particularly amazing animals, and you can find them all over the world, if you look hard enough. On top, these things that look like ears are chemosensory organs. They help them see because nudibranchs are pretty much blind. They can only sense light and dark. Their bright colors aren't for one another, obviously. They're to alert predators that they're poisonous. But generally speaking, oh, they're just adorable. Let's look at some. Roll the tape. Nudibranchs are hermaphroditic, but cannot mate alone. So when these guys aren't looking for food, they're looking for sex. Not too bad a life. Nudibranchs, sex crazed, poisonous sea slugs. Can we put that on a t-shirt? Oh, perfect. <laughs> 